Hey guys, welcome back to the Crypto Explorer channel. Let's take a quick look at what's happening with the baked beans ecosystem. So the miner is not doing so good. I mean, it had that first momentum. People were bullish. It's a miner. Most of the DGENs going in, they knew they had to be early. But then the peak was reached at the 3rd, 4th of May. From there on, downhill. You went from 2200 BNB. Right now it's at 800, I believe. Yeah, so 882 BNB, and it keeps going down, although it's not going peak down, it's stabilizing, which is good. I mean, if you're in it, and if you're crossing your fingers, hoping for it to last a long time, well, this is not the worst chart we could be looking at. Let's take a look at the BNB transfers. The selling pressure seems to be at around 45, 50 BNBs a day. And it's good also to see that for the past few days, the deposits have been ramping up. For yesterday, they have been pretty much on pair, but the deposits are something that is vital on a miner, guys. That's why it is a Ponzi. It needs to have fresh money going in, ideally higher or much higher than money going out. So the team developed other sources of revenue. I believe the token will do well but can it sustain i mean i'm not that convinced i think the token itself would be your best approach if you want to be dgen and trade a meme coin so this is the chart they launched earlier this week and so far they're going almost 200 percent up from launch price they have been listed here on coin market cap i believe also on coin gecko so the token itself is doing good and there's going to be a tax. I believe it's 2% on buys and 2% on sales, which is not that high. But the token itself needs more volume. It needs a ton of volume in order to put some BNB back into the miner. So the token itself needs to grow a little bit more. But is it safe? So let's take a look at D.Fi scanner. Now, a quick scan here, you can use this tool yourself, it's D.Fi. I featured here on the channel, it helped me a lot in the past and I still use it to this day because I don't know code. This is an amazing tool for free, you can use it for every contract, every chain, whatever you want to know. Paste it here and you'll be able to scan whatever you want. So, the DeFi score overall is 59 out of 100, which is not the best. High risk items too, one medium risk item, so let's take a look at those. So one of the high risk is transfer limit, the max slash minimum amount of token transferred can be limited, so the owner has privileges to mess up with transfer amounts. Dump risk, a private wallet owns a significant percentage of this token's total supply, so someone aped in to the pre-sale with some high stakes, deposited some big sums of BNB, and now they hold a significant percentage, significant enough to dump the price if they wish to. That's the cool thing about DeFi Scanner. Not only they do scan the contract, but they also give you this info on the side with the holders of the tokens, etc. Low liquidity, well, it's a new token. And here is the transfer fee. So I believe it, it's up to 5%. And this is the, the tax, I believe. So whenever you buy it or sell, you pay a 4% tax, not 2%, as I said before. Which is, it's still okay, I would say. Overall, it's under 10%. It's still okay. It also lists you here the top 10 token holders. So you see the wallets here. You see how much percentage of the tokens they do have. This is info you can use to your advantage. You can check with the team. Hey, what's up with that transfer limit? Why do you guys have that permission? What's up? with the dump risk, what do you guys have planned in the case of someone dumping the token? So these are things you can use to your advantage and question the team and overall help the project because information is power, guys, as I always tell you on here on the channel. But this is the latest entry to the ecosystem. I think the token itself can last or at least perform better than the miner. The miner did its own thing already for the people who were very early. And it will rely hugely on how much the token can get when it comes to market cap, when it comes to volume. Yeah, the token is a decisive piece on this puzzle. Like I said in my previous video, I've been in a miner that is doing all the things that these guys are doing and the token outlasted the miner. 
Bear in mind that this team also did some shady things in the past. Check my last video to know more about it. Overall, this is a high risk gamble, guys. There's much better ways for you to generate passive income or earn some serious money in DeFi. But overall, this is what I had to share with you about baked beans. This is how they're doing. In a future video, I will probably let you know how to operate the smart contract directly. So in the case of the website going down, you can come here on the BSC scan. And by the way, you should bookmark it on your devices. So if something happens in the future, you can access it easily. And if the website is down, you can come here and start interacting with the contract directly, withdrawing, compounding, buying, whatever you want to do. But that's going to be something for another video. This was just an update on Baked Beans ecosystem. I am not in it, so I'm not shilling or anything. But let me know what you think about it. I know there's plenty of people who are bullish about it. They keep on telling me on the videos I keep doing on the project. But guys, the whole point of the channel is share information with you, all right? So if you wanna go into something, go, but don't ape in blindly. If you wanna take the risk, yeah, do take the risk, but at least know the risks, okay? So once again, thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next one.